Good evening, you beautiful humans. I hope you're having an amazing start to 2022. Freaking awesome year so far. So for those of you who, who don't know, Sophie and I were married on Monday and it's just been the most incredible experience ever. It, it's just been an absolutely awesome thing. And I want to thank you guys for, for those of you who I've been able to share this with. Because it's been a super, super cool part of my journey. Uh, and I've, I've loved every single minute of it. Marriage is one of those things I found out where nothing changes, but everything changes. Our relationship is, is exactly the same, but it's a really, really different change uh, in 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 a lot of areas, like the mental connection, the way that we feel. It's it's just been an absolutely freaking awesome experience. So for those of you guys who I've been able to share that with, thank you so much, because it's been one hell of an awesome journey, like really, really freaking cool. 2022 is going to be an awesome year, like a really, really sick year. We're coming onto the back end of COVID, you know, that nasty little fucking virus. Well, you know, depending on, on, on your perspective on it, that the nasty situation that we've been left in. Um, and, and 2022 is going to be a really, really big year. But there's one thing which is going to be exactly the same as always. And that is there's going to still be blokes who are going to be struggling with fat loss as there always have been. Always. And there are several reasons why there are so many guys who do struggle with fat loss. Okay, and I'm just going to run you through these and I'm going to teach you how you can go through and you can overcome them. So the very first reason why most guys struggle with fat loss, they can't lose that belly fat. No matter what they do, they can diet all they like, they can do hours and hours of cardio, they can quit the beer, quit drugs, quit all that sort of stuff, but they still can't lose fat. Number one reason by far is consistency every single time. Now, I know this is the most boring thing ever, but it's the most essential. See, eating one clean meal or one good meal is not going to make you shredded. Eating one bad meal is not going to make you fat. It's an accumulation over time of poor choices. The guys who cannot maintain fat loss, the guys who cannot lose fat and keep it up, keep it off are the ones who cannot be consistent over an extended period of time. So back when I was bodybuilding, right, I would diet for six months straight. All right. Well, technically, I was actually dieting all year round, but in terms of losing fat, I diet for like anywhere between twelve and six months straight of like proper dieting to get really ridiculously shredded. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do that, but you need to maintain the habit. See, for me, I was able to become a pro. I was able to become a pro bodybuilder without using steroids, and I was like ten years younger than ten to fifteen years younger than everybody else. I used to compete against guys who had kids my age, right? And the reason why I could do that is because I was consistent day in, day out. And now this isn't sexy. This isn't fun. This isn't exciting. I'm not going to give you some magical fat loss supplement that you've never heard. I'm not going to spam you or sell you any of that bullshit. Here's the thing. Consistency is number one. The number two reason is we're not planning. There's no plan. There's no game plan. There's no direction. There's just a, oh, fuck it. I want to lose a little bit of belly fat. Let's just try and see what we can do. It doesn't work consistently over time. Yes, with that attitude, you can lose a little bit, but you need to have a plan. Once again, like I'm going back to my bodybuilding days, when I would compete, I would go and I would have a coach. I had a coach, Rodin Dubois, the whole time. The dude was an absolute fucking savage, right? All that, I always planned. My wedding, right? I didn't just rock up and think, oh, I want to have a nice wedding and, and hopefully, and you know, I proposed to Sophie eight months ago. Hopefully it all goes to plan. It's like, no, no, we fucking planned everything. Admittedly, Sophie planned everything more so than me, but we planned everything. If you don't plan, you will not get to where you want to be. So we need to be consistent. We need to plan. And then the third thing, and this is a really, really, really important thing is honesty and accountability. A lot of us don't like being honest with ourselves. A lot of us don't like being held accountable. A lot of the times we'll bullshit. We'll make excuses. For example, who's ever done this on a diet before? You'll be going really well on a diet and you'll be following the plan appropriately and you'll be like, oh, I look really good. I deserve to have this little cheat meal. I deserve to have this little bit of food. I deserve to have this little beer. And we aren't honest with ourselves. And we say, I deserve this. Fucking bullshit, you deserve that. You want it. Be honest with that and saying that you want it because what happens is when you crack a little, you crack a lot. You may have heard me say that before. If you crack a little, you crack a lot. When we start going through and saying, I deserve this little bit of food, you'll say it once, you'll say it twice, you'll say it a hundred times and it continually goes on and it throws your consistency out the window. We need to be honest with ourselves. We need to stay diligent. We need to be able to look at ourselves in the mirror with every single thing that we say because we bullshit ourselves a hell of a lot. And the other thing too is that 
we need to have people who are around us who are holding us accountable. At JCF and what we do with our guys is we hold each other accountable really, really fucking well to a really, really high level. That's both from our coaches and our mentors to our clients and within our mentors as well. All of us hold each other accountable and hold each other to the highest standard, okay? Every single one of us. The reason why we do this is because it makes us all better. Now, you may have seen our growth over the last year, right? And it's been fucking incredible. Here we go. We've got Liam Murphy jumping on, accountability gang. Liam's crushed it, for example. Like, Liam is a totally different human being to who he was a year ago. Liam is now the leanest he's ever been. He's the most jacked he's ever been. He's the strongest he's ever been. He's got the best beard that he's ever had. But on top of that, too, in terms of his education, the way he learns, the way he communicates, the way he leads, the way that he can transform men's lives, just with a few words, he's gone to another level. And the reason why Liam has been so successful is because he's been dead honest with himself the whole time. And then on top of that too, because we have our whole crew who are holding each other accountable. When you know that somebody is looking over you, looking over your shoulder and is calling bullshit on you if you're giving up, calling bullshit on you if you're lying to yourself or calling bullshit on you if you're not performing to your absolute peak, of course you're going to perform much, much better. We need to have accountability. So they're the three things, okay? Number one, consistency. Number two, having an actual plan. Number three, being honest with ourselves and having accountability. Now, you'll know that these three things aren't terribly difficult. They're not mind-blowingly complex. I'm not selling you the latest fucking semen extract from a bull which has been sniffed by a Tibetan monk and then fucking sprinkled with pixie dust. Like, that stuff doesn't work. All those pills and potions and all that sort of stuff, it's not going to work. If fat burners, right? If fat burners worked, we wouldn't have any fat people. It's not the supplements. It's got nothing to do with supplementation why most men fail to lose fat. It's all to do with the basics and the fundamentals. And that's what we coach at JCF. I'm not the sexiest guy out there. I don't do all this wham, bam, fandangle bullshit. I do stuff that works. So if you want to go out and you want to go and try the latest shaker machine, which is meant to shake the fat off, or if you want to try the latest diet, the latest fat, the latest crap, you're not going to find it here because that stuff doesn't fucking work. All you will get from us is the bare roots on how to lose fat, on how to dominate your life, and how to crush it consistently. Because nobody wants to lose fat for a day, a week, or a month. We want to lose it for the rest of our life. Now, if you want to learn more about our approach to fat loss, if you want to learn the boring, the safe, the secure way, the way which will reliably and consistently get you fat loss results over time, every single day till the day that you die and it's easy and it's effortless, comment fat loss below and we'll hook you up and we'll shoot you across some information which you can read so that you can do it just like us, okay? That is exactly what we need to do. Now, Alan's just uh, chimed in, he just dropped a really good question in here. Are cheat meals okay? Yes, totally, of course cheat meals are, cheat, cheat meals are okay. But they need to be planned in, they need to be, be a part of the consistent structure and you need to be held accountable to them. They're the three things. You can do anything that you want in diet. I've got a, 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 another great way for you guys to look at this. Never do anything, never do anything for one day that you wouldn't do for the rest of your life. So when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to business, when it comes to work, when it comes to anything, never act in one way, in one day, never act in a certain way, never do something for one day that you wouldn't do for the rest of your life. If you want to diet on a thousand calories to lose fat, and you're saying like, I'm going to do this for a week, don't fucking do it. Stupid. Take the consistent route. Take the slow and steady. Make it something which you can do forever and ever, right? You're starting a business. Don't start off working 200 hours a week because it's not going to work out very well for you because you won't be able to do that for the rest of your life. Make it so that you're consistent and you do the same thing every single day. When it comes to losing fat, when it comes to running a business, starting a business, doing any of these sorts of things, we like to try and rush it, try and go harder, try and go faster. That's not the way. The way is to do actions which you can complete actions, finish actions, which you can do for the rest of your life. And that's exactly what we'll teach you. Now, if you want to learn our way of doing it, which is slow, reliable, consistent, and will guarantee it every single time, get your results faster and easier than everybody else. Comment just like Sinclair has, comment just like 
you know, Cameron has, Alan has, just comment fat loss below and we'll hook you up with all the information. Now on that note, crew, I'll leave you all to it. And by the way, I've noticed a couple of guys have seen that have been commenting on Liam being on here and commenting about my, my podcast interview with Liam. If you haven't seen our podcast yet, you need to go onto it. Go on to, uh, onto YouTube and type in James Cant or type in high performance conversations and you'll see it in there. It's a really, really fucking awesome podcast.